This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Jackie Crea. Governor Gavin Newsom announced a $50,000 reward for any information leading to arrests and convictions in a number of unsolved murders across our state, including two here in San Diego. The first case involves the killing of 22 year old Gregory Isaac Ruffin. He was shot in Lincoln Park near 47th Street and Imperial Avenue in February of 2019. During a vigil shortly after the shooting, his mother told NBC7 he was shot in the back while running from his killer. It also includes the murder of 19 year old Lamonte Stevenson. He was shot and killed at a party in Logan Heights in August of 2019. Investigators say he was shot while breaking up a fight between a friend and an unknown man. If you have any information regarding these cases, you are asked to call Crime Stoppers. The record breaking rain we are seeing this holiday weekend caused problems across the county. The rain pounded several areas, including some a little too familiar with flooding like Southcrest. If you don't remove the trash from the storm drain, we get flooded. This is what happened January 22nd. This is video of Greg Montoya trying to clear the storm drain at the corner of Beta Street Saturday morning. His entire block was devastated by historic floods on January 22nd. Montoya says he immediately cleared the trash and debris clogging the storm drain when he saw the water levels rising. And in South Park, several people were driven from their homes when water started coming in through the roof of their apartment. Fire crews say roofers didn't finish some work and left a foam board as protection. That didn't last today under these conditions. Uh, the roof started uh, coming in with water through the light fixtures. We had a ceiling collapse. San Diego fire crew said they evacuated everyone before the collapse. In a statement to NBC7, the building's manager says, quote, while we understand that we are dealing with a major problem, we are ensuring that our residents' safety and well-being is taken care of. We are offering various relocation options. Right now, county health officials are warning to stay out of the water at our local beaches. Unfortunately, the Department of Environmental Health has issued a general rain advisory. It impacts coastal waters from San Onofre State Beach down to the border. With all the rain we saw yesterday, officials say water runoff from cities and storm drains can cause more bacteria to be washed into the ocean. The advisory is expected to be lifted on Wednesday. And you are invited to check out what a new Ocean Beach Pier might look like. The city says it'll unveil the preferred design next week and the public can give its input. The OB Pier opened in 1966. It's been closed and reopened numerous times because of damage from waves and storms. The most recent closure started at the end of last October and then in January, the waves broke one of the pillars. Our new pier will use the latest uh, structural technologies and the materials to withstand the marine environment, which will also have a better shape and a raised platform to handle sea level rise and the king tides we've been experiencing. City consultants will present the preferred design next Saturday, April 6th at Liberty Station from 2 to 5 p.m. The concept is based on public input given the last fall on three preliminary designs. NBC7 meteorologist Brooke Martell will have a look at your weather right after this. Looking for NBC San Diego on Roku? The easiest way to find us is with Roku voice commands. Just press the microphone button on your remote and say live TV and then say NBC San Diego. If you don't have voice commands on your remote, just scroll down to live TV, click the purple icon, go over to the left and navigate to news. Then head on down to NBC San Diego News. Once you've got us, make sure you add us to your favorites and we'll always be right there for you. NBC San Diego News on Roku. We have a few watches and warnings and advisories in effect for your Easter Sunday. Still under this flood watch for our mountains, our inland valleys, as well as our coastline through 6 o'clock tonight because we could still get some heavier rain moving over the area. I want to focus on this particular region where we have a flood warning. Really, this is along the shoreline of the San Diego River, so it extends east over to our coastline as well. And I want to show you the San Diego River and Fashion Valley right now. The flood stage is at 10 feet. That's when things 
things can become a bit problematic. And on Saturday morning, we were below four feet. And then this morning we were up to about eight feet. There is that possibility though, as we get into Monday morning that we could be close to 10 feet. So we are keeping a close eye on that. This is all dependent on how much more rain we do receive for today and taking you to the higher elevations. Winter weather advisory still in effect through 6 p.m. And that goes for our mountain communities because we could be getting a little bit more snow over those areas and back at the coastline. High surf advisory in effect through this afternoon. We're looking at those wave heights to be from 4 to 10 feet. We'll get the high tide just before 2 o'clock this afternoon and then low tide will return just before 5 o'clock. Timing things out for you over the next 12 hours for San Diego near the coastline here. You can see that rain could be fairly consistent throughout the day, but again, there's still that chance of thunderstorms in the forecast. Otherwise, we expect showers to continue through tonight and even through early tomorrow morning. We could have a few stray showers as we kick off another week. Here's a look at your daytime highs. We are trending below seasonal norms still. We're right around the upper 50s to low 60s for your coast, mid 50s to about the upper 50s for the most part over your inland valleys, 40s over the mountains and mid 60s today for your desert region. I'll send it back over to you. Okay, thank you, Brooke. This week, Vietnam War veterans were honored at ceremonies held both around the country and right here at home. At Miramar National Cemetery, dozens of vets were recognized. We spoke to a Navy vet who said he takes part in celebrations like this because for the longest time, Vietnam veterans like him were not recognized like soldiers from other wars. It's a great feeling. Um, you know, when we came back, we had nothing. We had no parades. Uh, you know, I just, me personally, I threw away my all my military clothes and just kind of slid into uh, the American life. Um, I don't think I told anyone I was a Vietnam veteran probably for 20 years. Uh, now we're honored again and uh, it's a great feeling. And at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C., veterans and their family members traveled from around the country to attend a brief laying ceremony. The ceremonies were all in recognition of National Vietnam War Veterans Day, which was celebrated on Friday. There's more coverage you can count on at NBC7.com. You can always find us on your Roku or Samsung Smart TV app. Thank you for watching. I'm Jackie Crea.